Yeah. We're rolling. We're rolling. <laughs> we're, we're rolling. We're rolling. We're rolling. My, I think we're rolling. I'm just laughing. Paul's just said, oh, the lighting's good. It's <laughs> <laughs> not a, a bit more professional uh, on the video front than, than I am. But Gotta make sure the light's good. Gotta yeah. make sure. We haven't got our microphones yet, so we'll try and shout a little bit so you can hear us. Yeah. And we are just recording this set in the tap room, so if we have random people turn up, or indeed if you hear Rosie, who's down there barking, <laughs> or if you hear Martin cluttering around in the background, then uh, apologies in advance. Looks like I'm saying that. There's someone pulling up outside looks suspiciously like they're about to come and disturb us. Could but be. we'll find out. All part of the fun. So yeah. welcome to episode two. Is it episode two? I think it's only it's episode two. two. We well, did yeah. say we would do more. Well, I don't know. Did you? We did the we did the little beer tasting for the West Letter and giveaway. We did, which worked very well. Yeah, <gasps> we could talk about elusive Allen, couldn't we? Well, we could do. Yeah. yeah, that's a good point. I've got my post-it notes back. Elusive Allen. It's going to wet me a whistle. I'm now writing the name Allen on there. We'll come back to that um, if I remember. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, second episode of the. Good news bulletin, where we basically sit here and talk nonsense for a quarter of an hour yeah. and have a cheeky beer. Cheers, everyone. We do. Cheers, Cheers, sir. How Cheers, sir. How are you doing Pink. today? <laughs> do better now I've got this. Mm. <sighs> Very nice. We'll talk about beers a bit later as well. Oh, yeah. Um, and we, we need a theme tune as well, I think, if we're going to do this regularly. Yeah, we do really need a little intro, um, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We need a... Can you, can you sing us a song? What's, what's that? Da, 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 da. What's that? I don't know. Oh, the, 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 the old the Gary thing. Yeah, I know what yeah. you mean. Uh, like a, a prize spinning around slowly on a conveyor belt, and I hear that music for some reason. <laughs> that would work. I think I know the thing you mean. Yeah. We can't use that for copyright reasons, but, uh, but yeah. Um, we thought we'd, we'd do a quick update. Reason being is we've got lots going on at the moment, mm. and actually our updates this time are largely what's happening in the next month or so, and we've got our post-it notes and rather than picking them at random today I thought it might just be more sensible to whiz through them and tell you what's happening because there's a lot yes a and lot. if there's anything you think of as we're going through then shout cool um, if not let's start with yeah. this coming weekend Ricky Fest so uh, we did it last year for the first time and it was great it was really good fun we had lots of people come to say hello um, we are in the uh, bit off to the side. So you've got the main area where the stage is and, and most of the foodie drinky stuff. And then we're just off to the side, outside that main area, um, selling our cans uh, for takeaway. We've got little gift packs. Um, might even take a bottle of chili sauce down with us. Um, but yeah, come and say hello if you are there. Um, I think it'll be me and, me and you on Saturday. Yeah, me and you Saturday. And then you're with uh, Kelly on Sunday. Kelly on Sunday, yeah. yeah. That sounds like a, a, a chat show, daytime <laughs> chat show. <laughs> Kelly on Sunday, Kelly come on join Sundays. us. Come join us, chat about all sorts of things. Yeah, but we did. Uh, we had good fun last time. We got nice to say hello to people. Nice for people to try the beer. Um, but yeah, come yeah. And, come say hello Looking if you are, if you are there. And if you know where we are, you know. If you're in the know, you know. It's supposed to be a good good weather this weekend, apparently. So we're good. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Oh. Hope for that. I look forward to seeing you there. So yeah, Ricky Fest this weekend. Yeah. Saturday and Sunday will be there both days. So yeah. Last time we were sandwiched between fudge and festival clothes. So a combination fudge, you, beer, you, and clothes. Yeah, if you turn up and we've got fancy, fancy festival clothes on and we're stuffing our face with fudge, <laughs> then you, you know, know why. why. <laughs> Don't blame us. You heard it here first. Yeah. Uh, ne next on the list. So that's this coming weekend. Yep. So, so today. Wednesday today. So by the time this goes out will probably be Thursday. Yeah, maybe. Um, but yeah, uh, come down and say hello, Saturday and Sunday at the Aquadrome in Ricky. Mm -hmm. Is that going to be backwards? We had this conversation last time, didn't we? I can't remember. Six Hills Beer Fest. Six Hills Beer Fest. 28th of May. So that is when? Next Sunday. Next Sunday. So, so next not this coming weekend. Or yeah, the weekend, oh, weekend after next is a bank holiday. It's the last bank holiday weekend of May, thankfully. How many bank holidays can we have in a month? So, uh, so yeah, we've got another bank holiday weekend next weekend, and we are going to be exhibiting at the Six Hills Beer Festival in Stevenage. So uh, Six Hills, if you're not familiar, are another small craft brewery like ourselves, mm -hmm. really lovely people there, and they've organised this day festival 
uh, we're going to be going to be joined by obviously Six Hills and various other local breweries, and uh, yeah, they they kindly invited us along to that. So I will be there uh, pulling pints. Uh, so if you if you fancy a day out with Steve Ridge, drinking some good beer, um, we will be there. We will be there with our friends at Crossover Blendery. They're going to be there we'll as be well. Be there as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, they do some really interesting stuff. Yes. Um, we've had Six Hills on here at the Taproom, haven't we? We have, and they do some really tasty beers. So yeah, we do. Yeah. If you're there to say hello to us, great, but if you're there just to try some Six Hills and other breweries, then come on down, because it should be good fun. Yes, so looking forward to that. It should be a good day there. The tap room will be open as normal, uh, uh, it will. part of all of these events, yeah. worth saying. Um, and actually, talking about bank holidays, we're going to have to open bank holidays as well, aren't we? It's, yep, it's bank holiday, plan. Monday will be open again. Yeah. Um, yes, so that'll be the 29th, would it? Yeah. Monday the 29th? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So what better yeah. way to spend your time than chilling out in sunshine and having a few beers. Yeah, just hope we get the weather. That's all we're hopeful. Right, next on the list. Oh <laughs> <laughs> trick shot. Next on the list. I was gonna I was gonna attempt to point behind me there and over there. Okay. So we have uh, on at the moment um, a little art exhibition uh, from Romeo, our resident artist here at Wood Oaks. Mm -hmm. Um, who has had an illustrious career stretching from the 1960s through to current day. Um, very prolific artiste. Mm. Um, and she has her stuff here in the taproom today, so we do it today. This month we've taken over the whole taproom um, with her work. Uh, she also has individual one-of-a-kind greeting cards that she makes as well. Um, so you can come down and look at her stuff. Buy some if you're so inclined. Sign her little guest book to say how wonderful it is. Mm -hmm. um, and that's, we've had on from the start of the month, we've got it on through to the end of this month. Um, the next month, um, we are very lucky and privileged to have a chap called Barry Webb, um, who you may or may not have heard of. But he does, um, and it's quite difficult to describe, so you'll have to come down to the tap room and see it for yourself. Uh, he does sort of extreme macro photography of slime mould. Mm. Sounds, <laughs> sounds that was rough, very it? bizarre, but actually, it, the, you know, the marvel of nature, it is just beautiful. The, the, for the, the stuff he produces is, is just gorgeous. Yep. Um, you have to come and see it to believe it. Yeah. Um, and we are doing uh, another preview evening, which will be on Friday. Friday the 2nd of June. June. Yep. And then, uh, it's so on yeah. For the, on for a month again, is it? Yeah. Yep. So okay. Barry will be here on the 2nd of June, so you can come and say hello and meet him in person. Yeah. And perhaps you can ask him how on earth he does it. That's right. Um, he's also going to do a talk here on the farm halfway through the month, which I think is the 18th, the Sunday, off the top of my head, um, where he's going to do a talk about his, his process and, and show you how he does it, which is, again, it's just really fascinating stuff. Yeah. Um, but yes, put it in your diary. 2nd of June. Friday preview event. Yeah, come it, on down. It, it's hard to sell from a, a description point of view, like photos of slime and fungi and stuff like that. Um, but when you see it, it is extraordinary, mm. absolutely extraordinary. I mean, we've seen some of the work, and it is unbelievable. And so, the, and the stuff we're talking about, it's it's literally a millimeter or a millimeter and a half yeah. tall. It was tiny, tiny, tiny stuff. Yeah, stuff that we walk past every day and yeah. don't even wouldn't even notice it and uh, yeah the photos are incredible and we're gonna have people from what I understand people from the Natural History Museum are coming down to see it um, they're quite interested but he's got a huge following yeah he, he's got a uh, huge on, following online. he's won uh, he's won several awards yeah um, we've, we've got some uh, articles from like National Geographic and that sort of thing that we're, we're gonna liberally scatter around as well yeah um, I say we're very lucky to have him down so yeah Barry Webb come and enjoy of June. come and have a look at some incredible photographs and you'll see you won't regret it I mean, I'm pretty good with an iPhone, but, you know, he's, he's better, so. Mm. <laughs> Come on down. Yeah. Uh, what's next? 3rd of June. So the day after, what day is that? It's a Saturday? Saturday. Saturday. Yeah, Saturday. Yeah. It is Tour de Ricky Tour day. De Ricky. So we did, again, we did this last year, uh, and it was a roaring success. Um, so if you don't know what it is, uh, it's a bike ride. Um, open to all to come and enjoy. Uh, they do a 50k, a 100k, and a 200k ride, starting here at the farm, mm -hmm. doing a kind of loop round and ending up back here at the farm. Yep. Um, so the suggestion is, 
maybe you get a little bit of cake before you leave in the morning and then you cycle, work those calories off and by the time you come back here you're very thirsty and could do with a nice beer in the sunshine. That's the, that's the plan. That's the plan. That's what I'd do. Um, if you search Tour de Ricky on the you Google eyes, I believe it's tourdericky.uk, but don't quote me on that. Search Tour de Ricky, you can sign up for the event there. Uh, I say, I believe it's, it's open to all, so yeah, as long as you've got a bike and as long as you can ride, come on down yeah. and enjoy that. And so we had, a, we had a good crowd last time, so it's a real good fun, nice day out for the biking community. fraternity. And there's a lot of them. We do get a lot of bicyclists coming here. We? We, do, we do get a lot of bicyclists, a lot of bicyclists yeah, yeah. coming here for, for a drink, so um, yeah, so hopefully you see some familiar faces. Yeah, we, we, do you know, I was looking at some photos earlier. We, we kept people were coming absolutely caked in mud during the winter when they've been riding through the muddy puddles yeah. and, uh, and having good fun. Um, but yeah, good good excuse for a beer. Absolutely. If nothing else. Absolutely. absolutely. Come on down. Yeah. Uh, then the day after that, June 4th, we have Eastbury Summer Fair. So um, mm -hmm. uh, Eastbury, local, um, little local community fair. Um, they have music, they have a fun fair. Uh, they have foodie and drinky sort of things, um, so head on over there. It's, it's a sort of more park direction, it's a nice and local. Um, we'll be there serving some beers. Oh yes. Um, so if you want to come say hello, then please do. Um, I believe that is free to enter as well. Um, so a nice little community day, nice little family day out, um, worth worth coming to explore. Definitely. For sure. Definitely. Um, and then. June 8th, so Thursday, in the second Thursday of the month. You should know what that means. You know what that I don't, I'm not yeah. going to show you that because you know what it means. <laughs> well, let's just not even say what it is. Let's not even say it. I'm know. not going to say it because you know, know what it is. Second Thursday of every month is now tradition. Um, you know what day it is down at the tap room and you know you should be there. Yeah. And if you're not, shame on you. Yeah. Um, it's the quiz night. It's the quiz night, obviously. Um, it's going down very well, increasing in popularity, so do come along and support. Yeah. Um, we always have a general knowledge round, we always have a little picture round, we always have our world famous music round, um, and we always have the losers from the previous month round. Um, so, the specialist subject from the losers this time is Elvis. It is. Curly, curly looks smile. Yeah, well, it, or Elvis, uh, ears breaked up then, he said, Elvis. Elvis, yeah. There's some Elvis fans out there. Who doesn't love Elvis? Yeah. Everyone. Uh, so yeah, specialist round on Elvis, come on down. Yeah. Uh, and we have, we are, we are ongoing, uh, doing a little league. So we're monitoring people's scores as we go through the year. Yep. And then we're going to give away a money can't buy prize at the end of the year t-shirt. <coughs> um, so yeah, worth <laughs> definitely worth. Yeah. Actually, I'm, I'm joking, but we do we give away a twenty five pound beer money at the end of it, and every, it's free to enter. Month. So yeah. you know, why on earth are you not here enjoying it? You should be. What's next? Next. Having a little beer. Yes. Open farm. Oh yes. So uh, there's two th two thing two things. BDS is the British Driving Society, which is our horsey uh, uh, entity. Right. Um, so they come down and they're doing a horse riding show here at the farm, which is the British Driving Society. Did I just say that? You did. I did. Yep. Uh, and then we have also the Open Farm Day. So this is a, a, a promotion that is being done across the country to try and encourage people to embrace their local farms and try and understand a bit more about what goes on on their local farms. And as part of that, as part of the Wood Oaks community, um, we're opening up the brewery. Um, what we're going to do, there are activities going on on the farm all day, and it goes from 10, 10, till, four. 10 till four, I yeah. think the actual open day. We're open our normal hours, obviously, yeah. but we are going to do um, some brewery tours. And we yes. get a lot of people asking us about brewery tours and we haven't officially done them yet, primarily because there are there's too much junk in the brew house. We can't really move around. Yes. Um, we'll come back to that as well because we're going to change that imminently. Yes. Um, but we're going to we're going to do some unofficial brewery tours. We're going to do a session at eleven, a session at one, and a session at three, mm -hmm. and it will be free. Yep. Uh, so if you want to, we'll put the details out on our socials shortly. It's not. I don't think it's out there just yet. We'll put them out shortly. So if you want to sign up, the numbers will be very limited on that because we're only a small brewery. Mm -hmm. But if you want to, you can come and listen to me talk nonsense for half an hour about how we make beer. Yes. Um, uh, and I say, come down and embrace the farm and learn about everything that's going on down here on the day. 
Yeah, should be good fun. Should be good. Should be good. And there'll be horses. Lots, lots of horses. What's next? 17th of June. Festival. 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 Uh, action for children. Um, so we, we're, we're probably we're probably going to stop here in terms of going too far in the future because this is this is now uh, a Middle month of June. Out. Yeah. So we're four weeks out. Um, however, we thought it was worth mentioning. So we, uh, it's a local uh, action for children just up the road here, sort of on Old Oxbridge Road towards West Hyde. Um, they are doing a festival, again, open to everyone, but the idea is it's kind of a super inclusive festival. Regardless of your, uh, your ability, all are welcome is kind of the idea. So um, you can rock up. Uh, a nice family event again. There's be food, there'll be drink, there'll be music. I think they've got four different acts playing there. Um, uh, tickets, because it's a charity event, so there are tickets for sale on that. Again, if you go, ooh, now is it Eventbrite? I think it rings a bell. It might be Eventbrite. If yeah. you search Festive All and Action for Children, you will find it. Um, I think it's Eventbrite. I should probably have checked that before I sat down. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you go on there, you can buy tickets on there. I um, uh, say so we will be there serving our delicious beers. Uh, the Tea Shack will be there serving their delicious cake. Yep. And there will be other local food and drinky sort of businesses involved. Um, so, yeah, come along and support if you can on that one too. Yes. Be fun. And that's, that takes us to a month from now. So, I say we've got, we've got stuff, lots <laughs> of stuff going on generally. Yeah. Um, pretty much one, at least something every weekend. Yeah. And some during the weekend. So, there's lots going on. Yes. So basically, come down and say hello because there'll be something happening. Um, Guaranteed. And what else do we want to talk about other than events that are coming up? Well, we mentioned uh, the tours, hmm. potential tours. So it's probably yes. a good idea to elaborate on the state of the brewery. The state, the state and, of the brewery. And what's going on. <laughs> the state of the brewery. The state of the brewery. The state of the brewery. So and, yes. what, and what we're doing. If you, if you have been down any time in the recent months, you will know that we've just got boxes of stuff everywhere. We've got boxes of boxes, primarily. Mm. Boxes of bags, boxes of merch, boxes of, just lots of boxes. Um, and so we're gonna see if we can tidy this up a bit by building a little mezzanine level, clear all the stuff off the floor so we can actually have a, a space that people can move around in, um, which is when we're thinking that would be a good time to then officially do tours. Um, watch this space on that one. Mm -hmm. um, the plan is we'll talk a little bit about the brewery, about the beers, about the farm, um, and then afterwards do a little tasting session. So we've started doing uh, flights here in the taproom. So you can come along, get a little paddle of beer, uh, and try a few different ones on tap. It doesn't necessarily have to be ours, but because we, we always cycle through guest hours as well, mm -hmm. um, but you'll be able to do flights. So we'll have flights as part of the tour, so after we've done the actual tour, we'll sit down, we'll taste the beers and we'll kind of talk together through them, how to taste and what you should be enjoying in each of the beers. Yeah. Um, so that is a something to come in the coming weeks and months. Yep. Um, watch this space. Mm -hmm. But as part of that, we're also, um, we, we, we're at a point where we need to expand our production uh, capability as well. Um, so we, we make beer, it sells nice and quickly, which is great. Um, and so we kind of can't make it quick enough at the moment, which is a nice problem to have, yeah. but also means we've got to you know, spend a fortune, buy a load of new kit and, and start making more of it. So we're <clears throat> imminently about to do that too. Um, so again, exciting times here at the brewery. Yes, um, nail biting times. Nail, nail biting <laughs> times, exciting times. It was always part of the plan was to do this. Um, uh, as we uh, long documented, you know, COVID was not part of our original business plan. It wasn't part of anyone's business plan, I'm sure. Um, but we've ridden our way through that, and now we need to get back onto our original trajectory, which was expand the brewery, yep. get more fermenters in place, which is what we're about to do. So we're very excited about that. Yes. Watch this space. We will tell you more as and when that happens. Absolutely. Um, and as part of that, uh, do we want to talk about food? Well, we, we, we know we want to do food. We have so many people asking us about it. We do want to do it. Yeah. Um, it's just one of many things we want to do. and We, we don't have time or, or capacity to do it, but we are going to do it soon. We are doing food. There will be food available. Uh, our friend uh, Jen will hopefully mm. be, be back very soon. Um, yes, we need to talk to Jen. Definitely. So, yes. So, uh, 
people who've been coming here for a long time will be familiar with gin. So I won't say too much. The best best pasties in the world. Best pasties and sausage rolls in the world. So uh, I think she's actually in the Guinness Book of Records for having the tastiest <laughs> pasties in the world. That's definitely true. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get we're gonna get her back in, but we'll we'll, we'll talk more about that a bit later as well. Yes. Um, and whilst we're sitting here enjoying our tasty beer, yes, we are. We're, we're, both, here, we're uh, both having a glass house at the moment, aren't we? Yes, we're having a tasty pale ale from Glass House, who are friends up in Birmingham. Who I'm, I'm a massive fan of these guys. Really good beer. We've had we've had a few of theirs in now. Yeah, we, people who come here will know. Bring in Seshi back. They'll be familiar with that beer. It was a three and a half percent pale ale, which just absolutely flew out. It's absolutely fantastic. Glass House are smashing it right now, and we are we've got some really exciting beers coming up um, for our guest taps. Um, not to mention our lager is going to be back very soon as well, which is uh, awesome. Um, but we've got, uh, I'll go for a list of beer we've got coming up because it's quite exciting. We have got Titanic Plum Porter coming back. Last time we had that in, it absolutely flew out. So thank you to everyone who came and drunk all that last time. Um, our friend Pete, Bowtie Pete, um, he does a bit of home brewing. And you might, you might have seen Pete in the brewery every time we get a new beer on, he always comes in and says hello. Um, he's got uh, a keg of bitter that we're looking forward to having on, and uh, he's in he's in Watford, isn't he? He is based in Watford. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's in Watford, so uh, very locally produced bitter. Support your local brewery. Support your local breweries. Um, speaking of local, Pope's Yard, another Watford-based brewery who recently moved. Moved back to Watford. Yeah, moved yeah. back to Watford. Uh, we've got their um, Toffee Hammer, which is their absolutely gorgeous toffee stout coming on keg very very soon. Oh, we're about to be invaded by a load of children. Invaded by a hundred children, apparently. Ignore that. Don't worry about that. <laughs> there they are. Couldn't be any louder either. Yeah, they're all charging. And they found the dog. They found the dog. Uh, so we do, uh, as part of activities on the farm, um, we do education days <laughs> where we get local schools in to learn all about organic farming and whatnot. And they uh, they use our taproom facilities as a way of getting everyone together yeah. and making sure everyone's okay. And they've just got back. Hey, you're alright. Yeah. No worries. <laughs> It's alright, don't worry. It's okay. I'm so it's all, sorry. It's alright, it's all part of, part of the fun part of, of it. doing we, it. We told you this would happen. We knew it would yeah. happen. We didn't know this would happen, yeah. but we knew it would happen. Yeah. Um, what else did we need to talk about? Um, oh, more beers. That was Sierra, it. Sierra Nevada Pale Ale is coming. I'm, I'm super excited about this. So, Sierra Nevada are like my favourite brewery in the world. Um, Sierra Nevada Pale Ale has not been available on draft in the UK for a number of years now. It's back. And we've got it coming. Mm. We've got it coming. Um, we've also got um, a collaboration beer between Thornbridge and Budvar. They've called it Checkmates. So it's a Czech style lager. We're having that in. That is going to be the collaboration of the year in beer. You heard it here first. Um, get a bit closer. Northern Monk Golden Syrup Stout. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Golden Syrup Stout. We had it in cans. It flew out. We've got it on keg coming soon on the tap line and we've also got a meeting tomorrow with Hofmeister. Yes. Hofmeister Hoff are coming. Follow the bear. Mm. Hofmeister, follow the bear are coming for a meeting so we'll hopefully have that on uh, very very soon as well which I'm fingers crossed. Top beers coming on guest taps here so yeah exciting. We said this the other day and someone went what Hofmeister from like the 70s yeah. and we were like <laughs> yeah yeah that's the one. It's, it, it's kind of been relaunched as a as a craft lager. Yeah. Um, sort of harking back to harking back to traditional Pilsner style. Yeah. And it's, and it's it's gorgeous. Uh, it's it's a really really good version. The two lads have taken it over. They had to approach the family and say, "Do you mind if we kind of take on the branding and restart it for you?" They agreed to it, and it's fantastic. It's a fantastic lager. So we're looking forward to. Hopefully having that on for you. That's very exciting. Mm. And yeah, just really, really good beers coming. So exciting times. Fabulous. There you go. Yeah. And hopefully once we get our new kit in, we'll be able to do more of our own fantastic yes. beers as well. Different styles. We've styles. still got more we want to produce. We can't produce them quick enough, as I say. So we, we, we start making the same beers, which is great, but we want to make more. Yeah. And do more styles. Exactly. Mm. Exactly. They're nearly done. They're nearly done. <laughs> Why not? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we put that back there now. Right. There we are. Oh, wow, well, just a book to go in there, or did you just turn it up? No, you're good, you're good, good. just rock up. It's all right, don't worry. I just wondered, for like, you know, I mean, part of that. I'm just asking if you're happy. 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 I'm
No worries, you're very welcome. See you later. Okay. Well, there you go. That was the uh, education group that we were having around the farm. Yeah, yeah. It's really good. They learn all about organic farming, um, uh, and uh, and it's a nice day out. Mm -hmm. The animals, all that sort of thing. There you go. Anyway, um, was that everything? Did we talk about everything? We spoke about beer. Oh, elusive Allen. Yes. Yes, elusive Allen. God, this has gone. We've got. We've been talking for twenty-five minutes now. No one's going to still be watching this. Yeah. But if you are elusive Allen. So we did our little promo for West Fletcheron, mm. giving away the bottles. Alan, Alan, written on the ticket, wrote the wrong number down. Yeah. So we got no way of contacting him, and okay. we don't know who he is. Okay. Um, so unless he watches the previous video where we did the draw, or indeed this one, we got no way of giving the bottle to him. So what we thought yeah. we'd do, in the interest of fairness, is we put this video out and then give him a week from when we put this video out to get in touch and say, I'm Alan. Um, and if he doesn't, it means we have one stray bottle of West Fletteran. We did keep everyone's entries, so we might do another little mini draw. Might we'll have to, yeah. And just see if we can give Alan's beer away. Yeah. Sorry, Alan. Poor Alan. But if you don't get in touch, we can't give it to you. Has anyone not picked up their bottle yet as well? We have still got them. I think we've got a couple left to yeah. get out. But we know who they are and they've all been in, they've all been contacted and they're all coming. Good. Apart from Elusive Alan. Apart from Elusive Alan. Yeah. Where is he? Nobody knows. And, and it's no good ringing up going, I'm Alan! Because we all know. <laughs> we've got his number, remember? He's just written it down wrong. So he's had a couple wrong numbers. Yeah. Uh, I suspect it'll be two digits around the wrong way or something silly like that, yeah. but uh, yeah. But do get in touch, Alan, please. Yes. Otherwise I might have to drink it. Tough job, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we won't give it away. Maybe, Maybe we'll just, we'll just keep it. Just don't tell anyone. That's really been collected. It has. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Cool. I think that will do for now. Yeah. Sorry for our invasion. Uh, moments ago. That was an invasion as I'm well. I'm sure you probably won't be able to hear a word we were saying for a couple of minutes, but yeah. that's that's live television. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put some notes we'll put some notes of the upcoming beers because it came right at that time when I was talking yes. about it. So, uh, and we'll try and put links to all the events that are external. Yeah. So you can find those. I'll put those in the description. Down there. Uh, down there. That's, yeah. like, that's what the professionals down do, there. isn't it? Down there. Like and subscribe. Yeah. Give it a thumbs yeah. up. There you go, down there. Give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, fam. Bye. Right. We'll say goodbye. Yes. Uh, and uh, we'll try and do these more regularly. Yes. And we'll try not to ramble on for half an hour. Yeah, it's been a half hour video. It's nonsense, isn't it? Oh, where's that? <laughs> no. And if you're still here now, well done. Let's, let's think of a secret code word they can use in the tap room, and if they do, they'll get 10% off their beer. Wow. A secret code word. Secret code word. Secret code word. Secret code word. So it's got to be a funny word. Go on, then. What you got? A funny word. I'm, I'm, I'm out of inspiration right now. We're talking for half an hour. If you come in and you say, I'm out of inspiration and I need a beer, <laughs> it'll give you 10% off your beer. How about that? What do yeah. you reckon to that? I'm You've out of it. inspiration. I'm out of inspiration. I need Cheers. a beer. Yeah. Cheers, guys. I've Cheers. already drunk Ding. mine. Mm. Right. Perfect. Thank you. Love you. Bye. Love you. Bye. <laughs>